I'm walking in a forest in the middle of the Netherlands. And this is the third podcast on Sinwen Yoku. So if this, you're listening now for the first time, I invite you to first listen to the first and second podcast. Where I explained what Sinwen Yoku is and how you can open your five senses. Well, that's the way how you can experience Sinwen Yoku. In this last and third podcast, we do some exercises to really integrate the opening up of your five senses. So start with slowing down, because that's, you'll start your forest paintings, slowing down your pace. So I invite you to slow down your pace, look around with soft eyes. See the fractals, see the Como Rabi effects, the play of dark and light. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel how you're not walking at the earth, but walking with the earth. Hear the noises. I'm surrounded with noises of squirrels. Maybe you also hear that in the second podcast. Well, they made a lot of noises. Look around you. Enjoy your forest. Pick up branches, leaves. Take time to really look at the tree, the bark, the leaves, the branches. Do that for 10 minutes. And then listen again to my voice. So I hope you experienced how you can open up your five senses and how this gives you another connection with the trees and forest around you. And now we invite you to find a place somewhere where you want to sit for a little while, like for 20 minutes. And where you will take time to open up your senses. And let yourself Invite it by the trees, so follow your intuition. Where is it that you want to sit for a little while? Which place is inviting you? And take time for that, to choose your spot to sit down for a little while. And when you find your spot, please listen again to my voice. So I hope you find it yourself a nice spot to sit somewhere. Maybe it's with a tree or maybe it's somewhere with flowers when you are in a park. And take time to look around you. Take time to feel the place. How is the earth below you? What is the smell? And use your hands also to discover the place where you're sitting. When you are sitting at a tree, how is the bark of the tree? How does the ground feel? When you're sitting with flowers, how are the leaves of the flower maybe feel? Breathe through your mouth. Feel the fresh air, become aware of the sounds. So now I invite you to really take time to feel connection with the place where you're sitting now. And try to open your sixth sense, the sense of being. Maybe you know it when you in a summer evening, you're looking at the stars and you have this feeling like, whoa, the, what is this beautiful world? We are so connected with everything. We are part of the world. That's a 
way of the sixth sense that you feel that you are part of everything, part of nature, part of the world. And I invite you to, to discover this by opening your five senses that you have practiced during the first two podcasts by feeling the earth below you, feeling how you're sitting with the earth, by breathing in the fresh air and by really taking time to feel connection with the nature around you. And do this for 20 minutes and then listen again to my voice. I hope you just had your first real forest bath, your real Sinrin Yoku. That you really felt connection with the nature around you. That you are really bathing in nature and the forest or the tree or flowers or where you are around you. And this way of forest bathing can really give you some positive stimulants in relaxing, losing tension, but also by breathing in all the healthy fat sites. Forest bathing is helping us to reconnect with nature. So I invite you now to leave your spot but of course you're free if you want to stay any longer, it's your forest path. And walk a bit further. The idea of forest bathing is this opening of your sixth sense that you can feel your intuition and you follow your intuition. So it's not about walking five kilometers or 10 or running through the woods or whatever. No, it's about opening up your senses to arrive in this sixth sense of being and that you maybe go to a forest and lay down there for two hours. And that was it. You're leaving the forest again because you took a forest bath and you experienced nature in a different way. And maybe when you're seeing trees who are falling down or broken branches, you maybe could think of, oh, what a pity, it died. But nature is different. The dying of trees is life for different creatures. And a broken branch can be very beautiful. The Japanese have a word for that. They call it Wabi Sabi. It's the beauty of the imperfection. And this beauty of the imperfection can help us to see the world in a different way. To really enjoy nature in a different way. To have a different perspective on life. A different perspective on ourselves. We as living creatures on the earth, or maybe it's better to say living creatures with the earth. We are also beauties of imperfection. So I invite you to now walk again for like five or ten minutes with this perspective in mind. Following your intuition, open your five senses. Breathe in, breathe out. Slow down your pace and let yourself indulge in the forest. Feel free to find your place where you want to sit or where you want to lay down. 
It's your forest bed. Experience your forest or the park on your own way. And then listen again to my voice. squirrels you probably heard they are running around the tree in my forest and playing maybe that's what Sinwen Yoku also is playing again feeling children again and enjoy nature let me tell you a last thing about the trees there's a lot of more things to tell you of course but in this tree podcast I hope I gave you a little bit insights in the experiences of Sinwen Yoku and nature to help you to make the first step steps in enjoying forest baths but I wanted to tell you about the trees how they also have their own vibrations and there's a musician Bert Barton is his name and he's making music of these vibrations of trees But the vibration is only in summer, autumn and springtime. So then there is a vibration of these trees. And then he makes kind of a a constellations in trees and he is making music with the vibrations of trees. If you're curious, just go to Spotify and you can enjoy the music of Bert Barton. And that's what you just heard, two squirrels going down in a tree, playing. So I hope I gave you some exercises to really enjoy your forest path, to know how you can practice Sinran Yoga. I want to finish these three podcasts by a poem I wrote for this podcast. Well, I of course explain to you I'm a writer as well. And it's called The Way of the Earth. Imagine the earth had a voice. What would, we, what would she say? Imagine the earth had an army. For what would she fight? Imagine the earth was a child, who would take care of her? Imagine the earth was a god, who would be afraid? Imagine the earth could play music, what would be her composition? Imagine the earth needed help, who would she ask for? Imagine the earth was afraid. Who would she fear? Imagine the earth had a heart. Who would she love? Imagine the earth was sad. Who would comfort her? Imagine the earth was happy. Who would feel it? Imagine the earth had a goal. What would it be? Imagine the earth could walk. Where would she go? Imagine the earth could sing. What would be her song? Imagine the earth was gone. Who would we be? Thank you very much for listening to this podcast. I really hope you enjoyed your forest baths and read these exercises by opening up your senses. You can really feel and enjoy your forest bath. I wish you many, many, many nice Sinrin Yoku experiences. 
and I hope you really discover the forest and the nature around you in a new way, in a new perspective, in not being above the earth, but really connected with the earth, being part of the earth. That you really are able to discover your sixth sense and really feel how Sinwen Yoku or the art of first baiting is helping you in reconnecting with nature, is helping you relaxing your mind, relaxing your body. And you really can feel the connection with nature. And if you're going to take a forest bath any longer, I wish you a very nice forest bath. Me, myself, I'm going to walk a little bit more in this forest in the middle of the Netherlands, seeing if I can see the squirrels fighting again. And maybe I'm going to sit somewhere, bathing in the beauty of nature. <laughs>